pass and out a goal and a shot and a goal. Ermini came out of. But it really was a complete stop of the game. Now a start. He forward him in the box here. Some space. The shot on goal. Energy. And here they go on the counter. Here's a chance that this one comes in. Picardo leaves an open net and it's right back there. Fordham takes Nice back heel by Mawkai. Rogers trying to link up with a teammate out on the far side. They still are playing it. And there's Fordham's first. He knows something about game winning goals. Plays to Flynn. Flynn, middle of the park. It is. And there's the go ahead goal. Fordham. By Carter Hum. Here's Flynn. He'll put a ball. Oh, this is dangerous. Sloan. Yeah. And Fordham. Galen Flynn in to take it. Freshman from West Hartford, Connecticut. Other side. Here is Jack Slaus for Fordham. What a big kick from Slaus. Puts it down there, and then maybe he'll get something to go. It rolls into the back of the goal. Kicked around Fordham though, getting back in control of it. And this is Galen Flynn. Flynn, he's got all eyes on Simla. Flynn trying to connect. He's under deep pressure. He's become a candidate today, hasn't he? Galen Flynn, nice ball in, a drive, an opportunity, and it's wide. In the first half, Here's Flynn, stepping between two defenders. With a do so, Fordham gonna have a chance here. And it's Galen Flynn who's been playing in this auxiliary right back position so far in this second half. He sends the ball forward, a good one at that. Flynn for Fordham, 217 and counting, boots it in from the corner. And he's gonna spew it wide to Galen Flynn. Flynn not trying to mess around, early delivery, good shape on that cross, but Nielsen once again. Five yard ball, two feet. Flynn, good skill cutting inside. He'll earn a free kick. Call there. Fordham gonna have to send some bit more numbers forward as Quichoff tries to get in the battle with Sloan, but Sloan finds Galen Flynn Wells. Flynn will use that right foot, sends the ball into the box. Kukuka had some good delivery. It's Galen Flynn on the outside. He's found his usual place. Flynn centering. An Atlantic 10 championship last year. Flynn comes up here, tries to get an assist on this one. Flynn. And Galen Flynn able to turn the corner. Flynn then just sprays that ball across. Hunters. Leading Rodgers, just outside, looked like a deflection off the... Gets bodied away off of him as Shevketi will now to try to track it down from behind in defense. To the far side wing, now with a runner to the near side, there's an opportunity. Long ball down the near side of Flynn. Flynn watched by Calzola. There's another Ram player lurking on the... Any changes are coming from Jim Barlow, so this crew might just ride the rest of the way. What a move! Rodgers is a Fordham's second home game of the year. They have their third home game of the year this Tuesday. Well, here comes a chance here for Flynn. Flynn is tripped up and a penalty. To the far side. Fordham working with it still. 
Manning entering into the box, looking for service inside, but miss hit. Dewhurst. Now put across and... Well, find Valentine. Good run from Flynn to the corner flag against Sands. Early ball's a good one, and the flashing header just wide from Rodgers. And those are the two... Flynn trying to move this one forward. Terrific goal in the 11th minute. Lai looking to spring a Shroffy well defended. Let's see if he can get a little spark from his freshman winger as we have 10 minutes to go here, about 11 minutes. Referee's going to play advantage. Ball just got held up in the wind. Welcome to an even score. One to one here with under 13 to play. Look, is looking for one more. And will they have a corner? They will. Atlantic 10 men's soccer quarterfinals here on ESPN+. Plus. VCU trying to get an opportunity in here. Here's Mason Leith, far side. Great ball from the backfield. Quickly on the attack, St. Louis. Leith fouls Flynn as Flynn did a nice... Another bad turnover. And Seton Hall a chance here again. Mason Leith in a battle with Flynn. For the second half. Along a takes the shot to fed away by Buckholz. The follow-up attempt is start of the second half is that VCU is more methodical in their approach going forward as that one's turned over and intercepted by Galen Flynn, but they're not couple of couple of balls on net here. Roger Court did of course score the Rams lone goal in that game on a Desperation tackle one there in the back by the Rams, and they throw in coming. For St. Joseph's, all they need is a draw, and they will secure, at the very least, the three seed, perhaps even the two seed. Galen Flynn in the corner fighting for this. Pushing there yet to get a clean look through goal as Galen Flynn does very well to spring up and intercept that ball, and he might be away here on the counter. For venue, Klein into the box. Oh, good play in the tournament as well. We're against the Atlantic 10. They lose their first game, but with the exception of that, if you're Fordham and you think you're going to play VCU unless you beat St. Joe's here, nice steal here from Fordham. This one coming in close. <laughs> Not just in the few games they played, but in the day-to-day -day training. Good job by Isaiah Parker, but unfortunately for Parker, it stays in. And for Galen Flynn, who pushing forward now in. And tries to set things back up here. Not before an interception here from Flynn. Flynn moving things up. Has Boom on his wing. Comes up, here's a... 45 seconds remaining here. To the deep Fordham corner. 